Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy AK Zarujarambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video we'll be discussing the upcoming Gohan Goku Goten Day celebration that will be coming to both the JP and the global side here within the next month. So in this video we'll be talking about some of the exciting information including the release dates and some of the awesome new things that we could be seeing coming to both sides of the game when the celebration goes live. So you're going to get all that information here in a minute, but first, make sure you check out that link in the description below to join the awesome Discord community. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future content like this. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you find any useful information, and comment down below if you have any questions or comments. So let's go ahead and hop over to the Dokkan Wiki, and we're going to use the last few years of Gohan Goku Goten Day celebrations as a frame of reference. And we're going to start with last year's celebration, which was kind of a combined campaign because on the 27th of April, they started out with this Towards the Universe Dokkan campaign, which was basically a GT-themed campaign that carried over into the Gohan Goku Goten Day campaign because the Gohan Goku Goten Day campaign will always be May 7th, May 8th, and May 9th on both sides of the game because in Japanese it basically lightly translates, the dates translate to Gohan Goku Goten. But anyway, um, last year they did a little different. They started out with this Towards the Universe campaign, and it rolled into the uh, Gohan Goku Goten Day campaign, whereas a couple years back they actually started with a countdown celebration, which started on May 2nd and went through the 7th, and we had some rewards with some Dokkan Festival tickets and Dragonstones and other things like that. And then three years ago, they just pretty much rolled straight into it. So, there are a few ways they can do it. Regardless of how they do it, I can definitely see here within the next couple of weeks, us starting to get some information in-game and through the social media feeds of what to expect for the celebration this year. So, a lot of us on the global side especially are going to be looking forward to the 7th anniversary celebration in July, but... This is definitely not a campaign. If you aren't aware of what this brings, it's definitely something to not overlook. And we're going to get into some of the exciting information of what we could be seeing here within the next month, starting with some new units. So, on both sides of the game last year, when the basically this uh, Towards the Universe campaign, which rolled into the Gohan Goku, Goku Goten Day campaign, uh, basically it started out with the Dual Dokkan Festival, which had the GT Goku and GT Vegeta banners, two very good units, still very solid to this day, and I'm very, uh, it's very likely that we're going to see some brand new units with the start of the celebration again this year, because two years ago, same concept, when the celebration kicked off, Dual Dokkan Festival had two brand new units, and again, this is both on the JP and the Global side at the same time, which brought us the Int Super Saiyan 2 to Transforming Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and the Tech Vegeta, which went to Majin Vegeta. So, with that also, uh, three years back, we had the LR Gobros kick off with the celebration. So, regardless, whatever happens, we're going to get some new units with the start of the celebration. That's something to start with, to look forward to. And then with part two of the celebration, which is about the middle of May to, the, you know, middle to third week of May, we have also always gotten a brand new LR unit, Thrill Legendary Summon. So last year, we had the Super Android 17. Two years ago, we had the amazing, still a really good, one of my favorite units, the LR UI Goku, the Strength UI Goku. And then three years ago, same concept, part two, we had the LR Tech Broly banner that was released, again, for the first time. So very good stuff there. Again, about the third week of May is when we'll see that. So that's the first thing, and you know that's the main thing is these units are not anything to uh, to overlook. Even though the the anniversary units are great, these units have always been fairly solid, and some of them are still good even today. So, with that being said, there's also likely going to be a uh, new Extreme Z battle or Extreme Z awakenings through an Extreme Z area or things like that and some other free-to-play units that will likely be coming to the game. Uh, it's just a whole lot of stuff. And the best news for global players especially is that we will be able to farm a bunch of stones through this campaign, which means more that we can have saved up for the 7th anniversary when it goes live. So, again, we can see here this is uh, two years ago. We had some new Extreme Z battles and Extreme Z Awakenings here. 
go ahead and scroll down so we can see. We had the Destined Rivals, uh, basically the Strength Mod Vegeta and the AGL Angel Goku. And then a couple years back, or sorry, three years back now, we had the Extreme Z Battle for the Strength Broly. So again, point being is there's going to be a lot of content here within the next month. I know on the global side and even on the JP side, it's a little slow right now, but this celebration is definitely a very hype celebration. I can't go over all of the stuff right now because I want to keep the video short, but there will be new free-to-play units that we'll be able to farm out, new missions and events, likely new stages of the Legendary Goku event. Maybe you'll even see a Legendary Gohan or Goten event. Who knows? Uh, but it's always a very good campaign that brings plenty of new content to the game. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Again, be looking, I'd say, at the earliest, the 27th of April, and at the latest, the 2nd of May, when we actually start seeing some of the celebration kicking off, leading into the Gohan Goku Goten Day celebration. So, that's everything I've got for the video today. Hopefully you guys did find some useful information. As we learn more about it, I'll be dropping more videos on the channel with information regarding this awesome celebration, so stay tuned. And if you liked the video today, again, drop a like on the video, comment down below, and let me know what you guys think we could be seeing for this year's celebration. And again, make sure you're checking out that link in the description below to, to join the awesome Discord community. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on content dropping on the channel. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video today. We'll catch you on the next one. Signing out.